My name is Tadayuki Shimada. I'm 18 and I'm working. I didn't even attend high school. I graduated middle school and started working. I was planning to go to university, but my family didn't have that freedom. My family was normal up until I was about to graduate middle school. My father was the CEO of a small business, and he got along with my mother quite well. I had a little sister, Satomi, who was three years younger than me, and a brother as well. We weren't above and beyond, but we were an average family living an okay life. Until one day, Is your father home? I want to speak with him. Huh? My uncle came to my house to speak with my father. Turns out my father had taken all the money from his company and left our family without saying anything to us. So, our family had tons of debt, and my mother was left to take care of us. This was when we ran out of luck. My mother was weak and often got sick. She tried her best to work and take care of us, but she would go down frequently. And so, our family became poor very fast. We moved to a broke down apartment and our food was barely present. I wanted my sister and brother to eat up because they were still elementary kids. We couldn't have food in the house and their only good food was from the school lunch. I thought about it and decided the best option was for me to start working and not attend high school. I had my friend introduce me to a local construction company and I began to work there. Three years later, I turned 18 and I was still working in the same company. We aren't rich, but we are able to keep ourselves alive now. Before, our family was very quiet and sad, but recently our house had become much more bright and happier than ever. But our bad luck continued on. I'm sorry, but our company is going to close next month. What? No way! The company went bankrupt. Of course, I started to look for a new job quickly, but every company around my area were having difficulties. There were no companies in my area that would hire someone that didn't go to high school. But I couldn't start working away from my house. Just as I was about to give up on finding a job, I received a message from my uncle. It's been a while. How are you? Hello. It's been about four years now, huh? Yes, things have been busy. I've been able to calm down lately. That's why I decided to contact you. I'm so sorry that my father caused you trouble. It's okay. I didn't want you to apologize for that. But it's the truth. It's okay. You don't need to worry about it. Say, how are you doing lately? You must be graduating high school, right? My age is, yes, 18, but I didn't go to high school. Our family can't afford the luxury, so I decided not to go. Seriously? You could have told me. I would have helped. I can't let you do that. You don't have to be like that. Where do you work then? I work at a local company, but a few days ago it went bankrupt. So you're jobless right now. Sadly, I can't find a new job to work at. How about you work under me? We started a new business for automobile parts just a year ago. Really? Yeah. We've been short-staffed at the factory. We would definitely love your help. Please, could we talk about that position? My uncle and father were two years apart, and I think he was 43 this year. I didn't know he started a new business. Actually, my uncle also worked at the company my father owned. But because my father had taken all the money, the company went bankrupt. But I'm glad to hear that he's still trying his best as a CEO. That helps me out too. But there is something that I'm concerned about. But are you really okay with me working under you? Yes. I can't forgive what my brother did. I have nothing against you, Tadayuki. You can count on me. I'm your uncle, he said in a calming voice. And so I began to work at the factory. This is my nephew, Tadayuki. Please teach him the way around this place. I'm ready to work. I used to work in a pretty masculine environment, so I thought I would get the hang of things easily, but the work itself wasn't bad, it was something else. Hey, move faster. If you don't want to work, then leave. Higher ups were very strong people, even after work. Hurry up and drink. It's all on us. I'm still underaged. I was invited to hangouts without being able to decline the offer. There were a lot of days I had to work overtime as well, and I often worked past midnight. So, I was more tired than ever. But I accepted it a little because I was a very uneducated worker. I worked for a month, and it was time for my first paycheck. However, I was shocked to see my salary. Excuse me, I checked my paycheck just now. I think there's a mistake. A mistake? Where? was only 50,000 yen. 
That isn't a mistake, then. What do you mean? I'm a full-time employee. I've been working more than full-time. We agreed on this before, right? Your mother is sick, correct? Yes, and I thought you were going to take care of the medical bills. Maybe I was not straight enough with you. I meant that I was just going to let you borrow the money from me. So I went and took the medical bill amount from your paycheck. Didn't I say that? No, you didn't. But even with that, this is not nearly enough. The medical bills weren't that expensive. Hey, do you know how much trouble your father, my brother, caused me? Yes, and I'm very sorry for that. An apology is not enough to pay me back. I need you to return them like this. Can you not at least try and give back to me? This is too little. I can't force you to do anything. But because of your father, my family almost crumbled too. If you feel bad about that, maybe you can show me some respect. If he was going to say that, then I had no way of talking back to him. Indeed, my father has done so much harm to him. I couldn't live off of this, so I had to start a second job working a night shift. It wasn't every day, but working from morning to the night shift was exhausting. I averaged four hours of sleep and was worn out every day. Couldn't hide this from my family, too. You're done already? <laughs> yeah, I don't have an appetite today. Maybe because I was tired, I couldn't eat anything. And that worsened my condition. The person that worried about me the most was my little sister, Satomi. She was so upset looking at me all worn out one day. Hey, brother, I'm going to work after I graduate middle school, too. My friend's sister works at a pub, and so I'll start working there. Began to say she was going to hide her age and start working a night job. I obviously said no and said, I can't allow that. You have the grades, too. You need to go to high school. I said strongly, and she started to cry. If you keep this up, you'll break down. If that happens, then we all go down. What she said woke me up, and I couldn't talk back to her. We decided to hold off on this conversation and ended it there. The next day, while I was on break, I got a text from her. Hey, brother, it's an emergency. What happened? Yeah. Oh, but it's not like an accident or anything. So please come down and listen, Kay. Sure, what is it? I was just on the phone and our father apparently just died of a heart attack. Father? You mean ours? Yeah, the call was from his neighbor. He told me if anything happens to him, call his family. Are you sure? Is it not a prank? He knew our names, so I don't think it's a prank. I see. Did you tell mom? Yeah, of course. She was shocked to find our father like this. Yeah, no surprise. I'll be home quickly today. And one more thing. The neighbor is planning a small funeral for him. He invited us to it. I think mom should be the one to go. She can't. She isn't well yet. And she might get worse if she does go. I don't want to go either. I don't know what to do if I see him. Yeah, I know. Could you ask for the date and time? And so I decided to attend my father's funeral. But it was a very small one. It's been a while since I last saw him, and he looked like a completely different person. He had gotten very skinny, and apparently he lived in an apartment that was much worse than ours. He had no communities, and his neighbor was the only person he talked to. There was a young woman there, around the 20s as well. She introduced herself to the neighbor too, and I didn't know who she was either. I didn't learn who she was, but we exchanged bows and left that day. But on my way home... Excuse me, are you Mr. Masashi's son? Do you have a little time? I want to talk to you about something. The woman approached me. Then we went to a cafe near the train station and started to talk. He told me it was about my father, but we introduced ourselves first. My name is Sari Karawaki. I met your father when I was much younger. She was 25 years old and was a regular worker. Her father was also a CEO of a small company, and him and my father were best friends. When her father's company was in trouble, my father saved them by lending them a lot of money. Thanks to him, our family was saved. My father passed away last year, but he thanked Mr. Masashi until his final breath. That was why she attended the funeral. I was puzzled at first, but decided not to talk about what my father had done to her. Thank you very much for attending the funeral. I think my father is happy to see you as well. I was going to end the conversation there, but she suddenly made a very serious face. I wanted to tell you something. My father had told me before he passed, and I thought that you should know this too. What she told me shocked me. The next day, I went straight to my uncle's office. Uncle, I wanted to talk to you about my father. I don't want to hear his name again. He's a criminal. You should forget about him too. He looked a little phased. 
I couldn't contain the anger I felt when I saw that face. My legs trembled. And so I committed to finally saying it. Stop lying! I know you were the one that took the company's money, not my father! Miss Sari told me that my father was innocent that day. My father told her father, and her father told her, and now me. Apparently the money that was taken from the company was taken by my uncle for gambling. He took more than tens of millions. My father found out, and he persuaded him into going to the police. But my uncle brought people from the Yakuza and threatened him in return. Do as I say! If not, these guys will go see your family! Because he took my family as hostages, my father gave in. And so he vanished, with no money to his name. And so, my uncle was able to blame the lost money onto my father. My uncle replied, I see! That's a good story! Do you have any evidence? He said with a grin. But there is proof. Miss Sari walked into the room with the police. Just yesterday, we went into my father's old room, and we found multiple documents recording what my uncle had done. I think just before he ran away, he had taken these files for evidence. And the Yakuza that was on my uncle's side was having a bad time as well, and was a very small group. They were gone from sight, and so the backbone of my uncle's authority had vanished. This was all investigated by Miss Sari's father before he passed. And so my uncle was arrested for stealing money and for threatening my father. And my father had signed a very large health insurance, so our family had gotten a lot of money from that. Thanks to that, I did not have to worry about looking for a new job quickly. Now, I live a much more peaceful life.